Hey y'all, welcome to Bruner Gardens. Um, today I am out here in the garden. You can see some of my greens behind me. Have you ever had more greens than you care to eat or freeze? Um, I do both. We eat them and we freeze them, but sometimes you're just not in the mood and you don't want them to go to waste. So today what I'm going to do is harvest some of these greens and then we're going to dehydrate them and make our own green powder. All right, let's turn the camera around so you can see my greens. All right. So this is some of the stuff that I'm growing. Um, <laughs> and I should know the names of all of these. These are um, like... Chinese red mustard greens. I got a duck under my hoops here. Um, and then this is yellow heart winter choy. I've got some um, thunderhead kale here, some lacinato kale. So I just have um, various greens. I've got some tatsoi here also. So as you can see, the leaves are getting big um, and I just don't want them to just get big and die off and just you know which is not a bad thing it will <laughs> refertilize I guess um, the soil but we want to actually harvest it have some green powder that we can add to our smoothies and such so I'm gonna um, harvest uh, I'm gonna pause this and go ahead and harvest it then we're gonna take them inside get them cleaned up and we'll get on to the next step okay all right guys so I just finished harvesting you see I've got a large bowl here of um, greens um, and we had some that were not so good so we're not gonna waste them waste not want not we're gonna take these over and put them in our compost um, and then oh this thing's so heavy I'm got to use two hands so I'm gonna put these in the compost and um, go inside to get these uh, good greens cleaned up. So be right back Okay, so we brought the greens inside and I like to add a little bit of um, vinegar to the water um, Before I soak them So that's our water and I just soak them in cold water Then after I soak them, I'm gonna, I check them really well for um, bugs and especially the undersides of the leaves. So you just wanna check and make sure you have no <laughs> hitchhikers that came with you into the house. All right. So I'm just gonna let these soak for about, I don't know, usually I let them soak and I go do something else, so. I don't know, maybe about five or ten minutes we'll let them soak and we'll come back and um, I'll go ahead and check the undersides of the leaves make sure there's no bugs rinse those off and then we'll get them into our salad spinner and then on to the next step okay so we washed our greens all washed up getting ready to spin them in the spinner and then we're going to lay them out in the dehydrator this down. Let's see. Alright. You can see the quite a bit of water there. This will help to get a lot of the water out before we start dehydrating all right so I'll probably do this one more time and get the excess out and uh, go ahead and set up the dehydrator okay so we've loaded up the dehydrator we're gonna turn this on and let it dehydrate and come back and see what we have all right, guys, I'm in the middle of uh, dehydrating, so I wanted to check in and make sure because they're just 
you know, the leaves. So it shouldn't take that long as, say, the carrot or a piece of squash or something like that. So what I'm finding is that the leaves themselves are dry, but it's the stem that still has moisture in them. So I know there's vitamins and nutrients in the stems as well. But I'm thinking next time what I may do is just de-stem them and just take the leaves only. Um, but this time, you know, it's our, we're already here. So um, it, they're very crumbly, as you can hear. So I'm taking the leaves off of the stem. You don't want to include the stem because it's not totally dry. And once we grind this down into a powder, we don't want moisture in the mix. Um, that's a fast way to spoilage. So um, I'm putting the stems back. <laughs> yeah, because some of these, this is very dry. I don't want to leave it on and end up burning the leaves because that wouldn't be such a pleasant taste either. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take these stems off. You could put it back in with the stems, which I might do. Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Let's just see what we have. But you could see it here in the bowl. So it's not going to be a lot of powder. And my dehydrator didn't hold a lot of leaves, maybe three or four leaves because the leaves are rather large. So you don't want to double them up. You want to give them single layer spacing around. So, um, yeah, that's it. Not very much here. So once I finish this process, then it will be on to the blender. Okay. So, um, we have our dried greens. I've still got some drying left to go, but I wanted to stop and just show you how to do this. Um, so we've got the greens here. Um, we're going to put them into the blender, blend them up, crush them up, puree something, emulsify, not emulsify, that's with liquid. Anyway, we're going to grind it up and then we should have our green powder. So let's go. Okay, bring you in so you could see. All right, put the lid on here and uh, let's see. That's pretty small. It's pretty fine. Um, so let me grab something to um, pour this into. Be right back. Okay, so I have uh, a glass bowl so that you can kind of see through and kind of see what we have really well. So um, let me pour this out. It's pretty fine. Okay, so this is our green powder. First time. Um, so I see some, some bigger chunks. They're not that big, but they're probably too big if you want to um, put it in a smoothie or something. Or maybe not. Maybe it's a little texture. Um, but I'll run it through again. But that's it, you guys. Um, put this in a glass. Um, airtight container something like a mason jar if you don't have that you could use um, a ziploc bag would be fine or even you know a small little tupperware um, that you could put that in store it in a dark place keep it away from the light so that it keeps fresh you could even store it in the fridge if you want um, i probably won't i think that might uh, invite a little moisture i don't know but uh, i'll probably keep it on the shelf in the pantry and i uh, will add this to some foods, some gravies, sauces, smoothies, you name it. Your choice. All right, guys, that's it. I've got some more dehydrating to do. And as always in parting, if I can grow, you can grow. Now let's get growing. Talk to you next time.